Today, I'm going to be talking about how you can launch your course in less than 90 days, and we're going to talk about what are the keys to success with one of our amazing course coaches, Tamiko Kelly, coming up right now on the Rise to Top podcast. And welcome, 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 my friends, to the Rise to Top podcast. It's your great and good friend, David Seitman Garland, a.k.a. DSG. I'm going to be joined here in just a second by the one, the only, the coach, Tamiko Kelly. Now, you might have seen Tamiko on the Rise Stop podcast or in our Facebook groups. I feel like there's a little billboard outside our house with Tamiko Kelly. But just to give you a little bit of context about what we're talking about today is Tamiko is actually one of our coaches in the Create Awesome Online Courses Accelerator Program. We're going to talk about that a little bit coming up here on the podcast and what the Accelerator Program is and all that kind of stuff. But really what Tamiko is, is she's not only a successful course creator in her own right with a baby sleep training brand and course that has taken over the world, but she also helps our Accelerator students get their lists built, get their courses out there in less than 90 days. And we're going to talk about her experience with, with students in that program. And whether you're sitting there right now thinking, you know what, I want an extra boost or I need some extra help, or how can I condense this down to a shorter period of time to get everything done and out there? That's really going to be kind of this thesis statement of today's podcast. So without further ado, she's here right now, the one, the only Coach D'Amico. Hi, Coach D'Amico. How are you? Hello. Super happy to be here today with y'all. So great to have you. This is your second time here on the Rise Stop podcast. And by the way, I would encourage folks to go back. We'll put the link in the show notes to listen to Tamiko's full story in an earlier podcast that we did this year. We talked about how she became essentially the baby whisper. But what you don't know is that Tamiko works with our students in the Create Awesome Online Courses Accelerator program. Now, Create Awesome Online Courses Accelerator is designed to get you to launch your course in less than 90 days. And there's a combination of mentorship, coaching, and accountability. So Tamiko, you're one of our coaches in the Accelerator program, and you have your students in the program. You've now worked with them as of this podcast for about a little over 70 days. I think right around 70, give or take, somewhere around there. And I'm curious... You know, first of all, what's that experience been like? I mean, you've got your, as you call them, your peas in your pod, right? Tell us what, what's been the experience like working with Accelerator students? So, you know, it has definitely been an honor for me to work with such bright and eager students. I mean, David, clearly you attract the best of the best. I mean, and... I mean, come on, <laughs> blush, blush. And the, and my little peas have just been rocking and rolling. For me, it's just been so awesome to see people who have been in the Create Awesome Online uh, Courses Facebook group, bought the course several years ago, set on it for several years, got an accelerator, jumped in feet first, and have literally been able to 3x their list or, you know, create, finally create the course instead of saying, oh, I'll do it one day, finally honing in on their message. I mean, it's just been so great to kind of see everybody's big breakthroughs in such a you know, short amount of time. And like, we're not even done yet. Like, there's more to come. Yeah, it's amazing to watch where people, first of all, where people came in and where people are at now 70 days later, right? And you specifically work with 12 of our 24 Accelerator students. You work, you work with 12. You've got 12 that you work with. And it's amazing that you've seen like just some of the progress. Like you said, we've had people come in, and this is a joke that we make in, in a funny way, that... They come in with a chip and a chair. That's what they say in poker, right? <laughs> Where people that come in that they are just getting started from complete scratch. Maybe they're working a job or doing something like that, and they need to do everything. You need to come up with the right course idea, the right offer, the right email list, all these things. And then you have people, of course, that are at different stages of the game. Some people come in, they've got a little bit of a brand, and they're looking to build it. Some people are a coach, and they're looking to leverage it. I, I, what I'm finding really interesting is we really see a diversity, a lot of diversity in the types of people that are in the program. And I'm sure that's been just an interesting thing for you when it comes to coaching is that people come from all types of backgrounds and they start in all different types of situations, but they know that that goal is to get that course launched in 90 days. No, for sure. And it's also been great for me just to learn about all the things that people are 
experts in, like all the different course topics. It's like my mind has been completely blown just on the course topics alone, things that I didn't even, even know anything about. I was like, whoa, that's a thing? So that to me is just has been great to see people turn their knowledge into expertise and then be able to help other people with whatever their course topic is and then really be able to get together with us in the accelerator and just fine tune everything. Because I think that, you know, the curse of the course creator is that we always want to be in teaching mode. Like that's literally, that's where we shine. We love to teach people, but at some point, the teaching has to stop and the marketing has has to begin. And so I feel like that's where Accelerator really helps you is to figure out where the line is between value and giving away the whole entire grocery bag of stuff to people. Like, like where's that line? Right. And what's also interesting too is that, you know, I think you've had a mix in your group and correct me if I'm wrong with, with your, with your students that have come into the program. Some came in and knew their topic exactly what it was going to be. And it's the same topic today as it was 70 days ago, right? Some people came in, thought they knew it and changed it. Right. And some have also come in, like maybe they had it between a few and then they also found the right way because what we're learning, a a big thing that people learn and implement is that it's one thing to have a course idea. It's another thing to have something that's sellable, but then also being able to package it up. And that's something that I'm really impressed with with the students is that they're now very clear, very clear, all of them about what their brand's about, what they teach, what their online course is, and who it's for. I mean, definitely. I mean, I think today the podcast that was released about the opportunity versus fixed market, I think that's like a gold mine for, for, for people to listen to if they haven't already, because it really helps you to understand as far as a messaging perspective for your course, where you should be in your marketing so that people can hear what you're saying. I mean, I feel like I feel like there's a lot of people who are listening to us right now, David, who have fantastic ideas for a course, may even have a course that's built, but they've sold zero seats. And they're like, oh, my God, I'm a failure. Why do people like me? And it's like, no, you're not a failure. The issue has nothing to do with you. It's your messaging and how you're packaging it and presenting it to people. And that's where Accelerator can really help you, you know, flip that switch so that you can start attracting people who are excited about your course and ready to do the work. Right. Not that you're shamelessly trying to convince, if that makes sense, right? Like, it's, And what's interesting too, I always notice that as well, when people were going a direction that maybe wasn't working as well or something like that, a lot of times the tweaking is on the offer or who the audience is or going deeper, getting more specific, right? And a lot of times it's a 98-2% rule that I see. It's like 98% of the stuff that they're doing is fine. It's 2% that needs to be tweaked right? Or changed or learned about in a different way. And what's interesting is, you know, right now, Accelerator is open for applications, right? It's for our second round. So our first students now are are on day 70. We've had people that are in the middle of launches right now, people that have gone from zero to over a thousand people on their email list. Everyone has clarity on the course. We have a lot of progress. We're bringing in a brand new group into Accelerator. And by the way, you could be a Create Awesome Online Courses student looking to now actually get focused and get more done in 90 days than you have in the previous three years. Or you might not be a Create Awesome Online Courses student right now. Maybe you're you're not and you're thinking, you know what? I want to do the whole kit and caboodle here. I don't want to just do, you know, necessarily just the the kind of studied home version. I want the extras where I get the coaching and the accountability and the mentorship. It's for you either way. And you go to createawesomeonlinecourses.com slash accelerator to fill out an application. And I would highly, highly recommend doing that before we pull that down because we will be filling out the spots just like we sold out the first version. And, you know, Tamika, I'm curious on this from your, your experience is that some people are thinking right now, I've thought about doing a course for five years. I've tried for three years. I've bought this. I've done that. I've Googled this. I've YouTubed that. And some of them might be thinking right now, you know, oh my God, it's another thing, right? Like, like what, what do you view from now? Because you're way on the inside of this. Why would Accelerator work for folks? Like, or why would folks think that this is a little bit of a different animal? Well, I think the biggest, you know, I think the biggest difference between Accelerator and 
pretty much any other course out there in the market right now is the high touch. The fact that you are assigned to a coach and that that coach can look at your business, look at what you're doing and say, hey, I know that you tried A, but let's pivot to B because in my experience, B is what gets you the sales. Or, hey, I see that you're going down street D. Let's make a detour and go down street Y because if you're trying to get to X, it's the quickest way to get there. So, you know, I really feel like if you're a person who wants someone to have their eyeballs on your stuff so that if you have questions about copy, if you have questions about tech, if you have questions about whatever pertains to your course and you want to have somebody who literally is on the backbone waiting there for you to dial their number and call them up, not necessarily call me, but you know, who's just, who's waiting there for, you know, to answer your questions, then Accelerator is going to be for you because like the things people have accomplished in just 70 days, I mean, it's just crazy to come into Accelerator and have no email list, to have zero to be like at negative zero and then 60, 70 days in have a thousand people on your list. That my friends is literally a testament to what happens when you are in the right environment with the right people, with the right instructions, you know, who can help you right, and get you to that goal. Right. And, that, and that's exactly what it is. I mean, if you go to right now, you can check this out. I mean, we're just not making up these random people out of thin air. If you go to createawesomeonlinecourses.com slash progress, you can just see examples of just some, just some of the, of the accelerator students that we had, we had to pick and choose, right? And so we just put some up on the page there. You will just see where they were at. And this was just in, we did those at about 45 to 50 days. So now they're even another 25 days into it. So you would be amazed about the progress they can make. And you're right, Tamiko. It's, it's, it's the environment and the right people and the right help at the right time. It's almost like an incubator, right? And an example that we talk about, you know, Lindsay loves this example, our operations manager, we talk about this a lot and, and with students in the accelerator. It's almost like you've got different versions of your end goal. Let's say your end goal is to get into really, really good shape. You're going to be an excellent, you're going to be the sexiest of all time, right? That's your goal. Your goal is to get in the, in the you're going to be in the best shape of all time, okay? Well, kind of level one of that is what I would call the time waster, right? Which is what? We're going to Google, we're going to YouTube, we're going to confuse ourselves, we're going to find we're going to find a thing that says always use kettlebells, we're going to find another article that says never use kettlebells, we're going to find a third article that says sometimes use kettlebells and you're going to end up massively confused with very little action or you're going to go around and you're going to read every fitness blog, every video and you end up maybe trying to do an exercise or two at home and hurt yourself or whatever it might be, right? That's like a level 1, right? Level 2 is you've taken some kind of action to get yourself towards your goals. Here's an example of that, right? So if on the, on the fitness analogy, it's you've now joined a gym, Tomiko. You've joined a gym, you went down, you busted your credit card, you're going in there, and you are in the gym, and you are doing your workouts. Of course, you've got no guidance or anything like that, so you kind of are playing around on the machines, you may be drinking a Slurpee, I don't really know. But, and by the way, there's people that could get success at all these different spots. It just is a very specific type of person. Do you know what I mean? Then the third level is you realize, you know what? I can't do this by myself. I, I, I've got, there's distractions. My kids were up throwing up last night. Scruffles has to go to the groomers. Do you know what I mean? There's so many different things going on. Like that's a big thing with online business, but it's about fitness, the same thing, right? And so level three is you then go in and get a trainer who writes workout plans and is looking over you and making sure you're there. Like they don't do the work for you. You do the work, right? But you have complete guidance, any questions, any problems, and you have a plan and you're avoiding distractions. You can go to them and say, you know what? Should I use kettlebells? And they might say yes or no, but you have a trusted expert now on your side to help you in the right environment. And that's kind of level one, level two, level three. And we see that with courses. Level one is people like Googling everything, searching everybody, checking them all out. Level two, which is a great one, is they might join Create Awesome Online Courses. And by the way, some people get, you know, a lot of people get great results from that. But for people that want the extra, they want the personal trainer, they want to be in that right environment, that's where Accelerator comes in. And that's where I see the big benefit of it. Well, and also I think, you know, the problem is not information, right? Because we live in a world where you can literally Google Yelp or whatever, anything that, that, 
that like you want to know about any you know particular topic. So that's not the issue now. The issue in today's world is the organization of that information. So as a course creator, that's exactly what you're doing. You are organizing information for people into a nice little box with a beautiful pink, if it's my box, a pink rhinestone bow, and <laughs> and um, making it easy for them to get a result. And the kind of people who do the best in Accelerator are the people, just like David said, who want somebody to give them the organized information, the shortcut. They are like they've tried A and they've tried B. The results are not stellar. And so they're like, like, okay, it's time to step up to C. And so I think that that's that's who does the best in Accelerator. And honestly, that's who I want to coach. People who are like, tell me what to do and I will do it. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. And and it's funny because and people come in with all different kind of starting points, if that makes sense. Some people have been trying for years or different ways or this or that. Maybe they're a student, maybe they're not, you know, different things. Some people just found out about it yesterday, but they're like, you know what? I want to do it right. I want to do it right and I want to do it the fastest, you know? And it's interesting, you see this in the not a world that I'm necessarily involved in, but the startup world right? The startup world. And they have these things like called Y Combinator. And here in Raman, St. Louis, they've got this Cortex building and the things like that. What they do is they take these budding companies, these people that have great ideas, great people. They put them together, right? They put them in the right environment. They literally stick them in a building (laughs) in this case, okay? Stick them in a building, but then they have the right mentors, people that have been there, people that know what they're doing, people that, and one of the biggest things that I've realized, and I'm sure you have too, Tomiko, it's not even what what you're doing is obviously important, but also what not you're do- what you're not doing and what you're getting distracted by. That might be the biggest thing. That was one of the things that surprised me. I mean, you know, that's probably something you've seen as well. A lot of times, it's stu- it's just the shiny red ball syndrome, and that's where accountability and having someone looking over your shoulder saying, "Uh, no, go on this path," makes such a difference. Right. Well, and you know, I tell you know the peas in my pod that my goal is for you to make money. Like, yes, creating a course is great, and I want you to do that too. But my goal is to help you make money. You get to define how much money you want to make, but I want to celebrate with you when you get your first sale. Like that is what makes me happy. And so, at the end of the day, in order for us to work together as a team and to help you get that first sale or to get that. 632nd sale, you have to be willing to be coachable. You have to be willing to listen to what we tell you. If you're the kind of person who thinks that you know it all, you've been there, you've done that, nothing works for me, I'm the odd man out, no matter what you say, it's not going to work, then please, for the love of God, do not apply to Accelerator. We wish you all the best, but please do not come because we are a group of positive politics who are going to drive you crazy. Yeah, because if you come in, if you come in with all the answers, you're not in the right spot. And also, let, let, let's just be frank. No BS here, Tamiko. If someone had all the answers, knew exactly what they're doing, they'd have the results. Do you know what I mean? And so, like, yeah, I mean, that's one of the things too is being coachable. And the people that have the most success in this program, they come in like an open book and saying, "Listen, I need, I need help. I need guidance." And you know, some people think that asking for help or needing help or needing more intimate help in this case, right? Like getting closer help. They think it's a sign of weakness. Like I'm a, I'm a business owner and I know everything and blah, blah, blah. Do I mean? (laughs) And when it's the opposite, for sure. I mean, it's help. I mean, it's, it's a sign of strength when you ask for help sign of strength. I wish I would have had Accelerator back in 2013 when I joined Create Awesome. I wish I, I wish I had Accelerator when I came out with my first course in 2010. Right. It's just like, I wish somebody would have been like, okay, Tamiko, don't do this, do that. Go here, don't do that. I mean, I, this this program is truly a gift. It truly is a gift. It's like if you have been asking God, the universe, the creator, goddess, wh- like whoever you pray to, hey, I want to launch a course. Who can help me? Your prayers have been answered today on this podcast because we are the people who can help you. Like this is literally the quickest easiest way to do this david has had been in this game forever forever and, 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 forever, a, and, a, day. and a day and a day and he knows what's going on and he's picked three coaches myself and the two other wonderful ladies who are with me we definitely have 
done all the blood, sweat, and tears for you so that, you know, so that you don't have to. We've basically walked over the coals through the thorns so that you don't have to do that. And if you're ready for the shortcut, we are happy and willing to help you. For sure. And it also sets you up for long-term success. And, and it's, it's interesting not to use another fitness analogy. Apparently, that's all I'm thinking about today as I drink, which I normally don't do, a diet soda. So it's one of those things. But is uh, another fitness analogy that makes a lot of sense here is that you, know, you see a lot of times uh, challenges out there. Like people will be doing like a 60 day go to the gym every day challenge or like a 30 day like no sugar challenge or this or that. All these different challenges, right? Now the challenge is not necessarily something you do forever or you might die. Okay. Right. But the idea is that it helps instill some kind of transformation or healthy habits that then you continue in your life. Right. And that's the same thing with accelerator. It's the goal is like, let's do the as much progress as we can possibly make in 90 days, like turbocharged, wind sprint, all in every resource, every tool, every strategy that you need. I mean, like, here you go, and we're gonna help you every step of the way. And this is gonna set you up though for the next three, five years. Do you know what I mean? This is gonna set you up where you're gonna know exactly what to do after accelerator, after the peas get released from the pod, right. if you will. Right. And so well, I think that's a big I mean- thing to think about. I mean, I think because because that's the responsible thing to do is for us to teach you how to fish. Like, yes, this is not a exactly what it is. program. Yeah, we if don't. If you're looking for somebody to do it for you, again, do not pass no. go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. This is not the course for you. No. But if you're looking for somebody who or the or walk, the industry, by the way, quite frankly, it's probably not the industry for you. But go ahead. Right. So, yeah. yeah. So, but if you're looking for somebody who's going to work side by side with you, you know, be able to help you edit and audit the things that, that, that you are creating. And that's exactly what we're doing in Accelerator. And I tell my peas that, hey, I really want to help you guys be empowered with the math part of business. Because I think that's one thing that we creators love to just, oh, the money will just come in from the stars and the moon and magically land in my account. And it's just like, but when that money comes, what are you going to do with it? And so I really help the, you know, the peas in my pod really drill down to the data to create what the holy grail of course is. And that's, you know, an evergreen predictable system, like to be able to analyze data and be like, okay, if I spend X amount of dollars on Facebook ads, I'm going to get X amount of leads. And then my conversion rate is this much, which means if I want to make X amount of dollars, I just spend this much on Facebook ads instead of just walking into the black hole and like, I'm just going to try Hope Marketing and see if it works. And I just pray people buy what I'm selling. I love it. We all know, by the way, if you can tell from the tone, not a good idea. Now, a couple couple quick questions, Tomiko, on kind of, you know, being involved in the program here and what you've seen. You know, has anything surprised you from, from you know, where, where people at all, from, from working with Accelerator students, has anything surprised you? What surprised me the most is that people... You know, when they came into the course, they they did not believe that what they had was worth a high dollar price. Like there were some people who was like, oh, I'm just going to charge $197. Oh, I'm just going to charge $97. And I was just like, wait, what are we doing here? Like, you know, I think that as course creators, we sometimes think that everybody in the world knows how to do what we're teaching. Like we assume that, oh, everybody knows how to do it. But it's, it's like the that's plight not- of the expert. The plight <laughs> right, of the exactly. expert. Yes. It's like, but no, they don't. And you need to charge a premium for that knowledge because I tell people, think about it like this. How long did it take you to get this knowledge? It didn't come to you overnight in a dream. It literally took years of you working in person with people, working virtually with people, researching. Sometimes there's colleges involved and degrees situations and money to suit loans involved. And so all of that stuff has a dollar sign that should be attached to it. And there's no reason to undervalue what you're giving people because people pay for transformations, right? Like they pay to be from point A to get to point Z in the quickest in easiest fashion. Like that's that's what we pay for, which is why we have things like Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber, because we want to get to places as quickly as possible. All three on my phone, by the way. Right. <laughs> exactly. Get our food as quickly I'm gonna, as possible. I'm gonna be door dashing tonight, not gonna lie. <laughs> exactly. So it's just like at the end of the day, 
we definitely want to serve our people. Like nobody is telling you or saying on this podcast, be a douche that sells air for three thousand dollars. That's not what we're saying. You know, what we're saying is that your knowledge is valuable and there's absolutely nothing wrong with asking people to pay for it and to pay a premium for it. Yep. And I think that comes along also with the right coaching and the right training where you can then learn how to make this into something that's an attractive package and understanding that like it's not just we're slapping something together and you know, blah, 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 blah. Do you know what I mean? There's an, a real transformation that goes with your students. Now, this might be might have several answers, but I'm curious about this too, or maybe there's a one blanket on this one. Where do you think people need the most help? Or is it more individualized as you've seen this as people come in? You know, I really days. think people need the most help on packaging and positioning just overall. I think that those like those two P's are really the biggest P's of your course, because if those two things aren't right, you're going to be talking into a black hole and nobody's going to be listening to you. And so I think that that's really what course creators in general need help with. And if you're somebody who has a course, you try to sell a course, it is not selling. I can guarantee you that these are the two P's that we need to rework during your time in the accelerator. And I also feel like showing up, I feel like people have this idea that they can just throw a course out in the world and people are going to magically just hear about it and buy it. And it's just like, it's like you have to be visible. So I feel like visibility is also something that you have to be willing to do if you're serious about changing lives. If you have a bigger mission to help people in this world, you have to be willing to be visible. You cannot sell a secret. So if you're somebody who is just like, I just want to create a course and put it on the website and do no marketing and just hope that somebody buys it, womp, womp, that is just not how it works. You have to be willing to be visible and you have to be willing to let people get to know you and build that relationship with your audience because that truly is how people buy products. They don't buy products just out of thin air. They have to know you as their teacher and trust that you can truly help them get the result that you're promising them on the sales page. Right. And you're getting, you know, what you're doing in this, in this program too, is you're expediting that, right? Because we're doing it as fast as we can, but again, setting you up for the long term with it. And something that I've noticed too, Tamiko, which is interesting is people also getting, you know, that, that very important clarity on the ideal customer. I saw that as well, and too. And like some people knew it and some people didn't. And realize when people come to Accelerator, it, some people have a little email list or some people have a freezing cold email list. Some people have a little – some people had nothing, right? Like so we, it doesn't matter. That's cool. That's cool. Wherever you want to start from, right? And – you know, we've shown people that maybe had a cold email list or whatever it might be to kind of rewarm that up and build that relationship. And also people that are starting from scratch, how do you actually build a relationship? But finding the right people is one of those critical things as well and becoming very clear on who you're serving and who you are not. And sometimes that could take a little work and a little effort because then once it becomes clear, it becomes easy to a certain degree because now we're going to find out where those people are hanging out and we're going to bring them into our world. But that that's always interesting as well. And also, I've seen people yeah, – this is kind of on a side note, Tamiko, is that – you know, inside of Accelerator, you know, we have 24 people. We're going to have 24 in the next round too. There's such a mix of expertise. There is not – you know, some people think that the only way you can make money with online courses is through having a business topic, right? Well, Tamiko, remind me, what's your topic again? Yeah, I teach baby seat training, so <laughs> has nothing to do with business at all. <laughs> and by the way, we do have business people too. That's great. But I'm saying that people think that's the only topics. Not at all. We've got people talking about health and different – like a variety, art. We've got all kinds of different topics in there. And it's funny that people sometimes think, well, my course is not – if it's on gardening, that's not going to be a thing. There's markets. There is all kinds There's of markets, markets out there. There you know? is money. Look, there is riches in the niches. So, you know, the more niche your topic is, I'm telling you, the easier it will be for you because there is nobody else doing what you do. I mean, if you're in the parenting niche, for the love of God, please join Accelerator because in my world, I am literally around parents and babies 
probably every single day. And the issues that they have with stuff like potty training, stuff like feeding their kids. So baby led weaning or things, you know, how, you know, sibling rivalry and the bickering and the constant fighting back and forth and the back talk with older kids. For the love of God, these parents need you. So please get an accelerator so that we can help these parents and their sweet babies. Because, you know, the I I feel like the parenting niche is one of the few where there's not a lot of people in it who are loud and proud and known for it. So it's an exciting time to be in this industry because there's not really a lot of parents that really have a lot of courses that they can buy that are specifically around parenting topics. Yep. I, I agree. Sense. And you know this to me, Kill, that we had, and this is something I've been talking about on email, I've done on Facebook Lives, that we hired a poop coach to help with our toddler. So just show, just showing you that there, we held, we hired a poop coach, just letting you know. She doesn't call herself a poop coach, but she should probably. But, but, but bottom line here is yes, there, there are, like, a, there's just so many different topics and it's really cool to watch people Bring them to life. I mean, it really, it really is a cool thing when it comes to this too. And you know, do you see also, Tamiko? Do you see? You know, you mentioned being coachable being a big thing, right? Do you see other things right now that hinder people's progress that they have to bust through, and where the coaching really can come in and say, like, listen, like this is we gotta no, we don't have time for this type of thing. You know, technology is definitely a big one for people. Um, and wrapping their head around tech. And, you know, the biggest thing I could tell people who are listening to us thinking about the accelerator, if you have tech concerns, tech issues, if you're, if you yourself are not comfortable with technology, the best advice I can give you is to just use the tools that we tell you to use and stop trying to piecemeal things together. Because I feel like that is where the frustration comes when you're trying to cobble other things together that really weren't made for that, trying to make it do something that it wasn't made to do, that's where the frustration happens. If you just follow what we tell you as far as technology, because we honestly, I've used so many things and I have found the easiest things. And that's what I want to share with you, the easiest things to use. And and they're not going to be free. I want to be clear with that. Like it's not going to be free, but it's going to be easy. And it's going to stop you from spending hours trying to do coding or trying to figure out why your page won't work or why when you click a button, it's not working. My job is to stop all that. It's to help you get your course out. Like I don't expect you to be a computer programmer. So I want to make this as easy and as simple for you. So, so if you are tech challenged, don't you worry, friends, because we definitely have got you covered here. And I think another thing too that can you know really hold people back is just themselves. So people listening to us being like, well, I just don't know if I'm ready, you know, air quotes, ready for accelerator. And it's just like, well, if you're ready for the mirror and that to come along and to crown you and to give you a sash and say that you're ready, well then girl, I'm the mirror and that today and you're ready. So let's go ahead and get that call booked and get your booty in accelerator. Because at the end of the day, the worst thing that we can do as entrepreneurs is stay in indecision and to stay in a spot where we're wavering, where we're teeter-tottering, where we're not really sure. That is the biggest disservice that you can do to yourself because when you stay in indecision, literally nothing happens. So you're stuck. Nothing's moving. You're not making any money. You're not helping any people. And that's the opposite of what you created your course for, right? And so get out of indecision, make a decision either way. I mean, I want you to be an accelerator. Like I want you to book a call, talk to an enrollment coach. But even if you don't, I'm happy if you say no, because for me, I want you to make a decision, make a decision and get off of the fence so that you can live your best life today, right now. I love it. I love it. And by the way, the next steps on this, just as Tamiko mentioned, you go to createawesomeonlinecourses.com slash accelerator. So createawesomeonlinecourses.com slash accelerator. And by the way, that page will not be up forever because we've got a brand new group that's going to be coming in here very, very soon. So in fact, the newest group starts right here at the end of May 2019. And here for watching this later, we'll let you know when the next uh, period will be to enroll. But now is the time 
to hop in, fill out an application, and what you're going to do is you're going to hop on a call with an enrollment coach, okay? Now, realize that the entire purpose of this call is to make sure that this program is the right fit for you and your situation and that you're right fit for the program, right? And that's that's the entire purpose. And then if it makes sense, great. There'll be an opportunity to move forward. If it doesn't, Totally cool. We shake hands and we move our, go our separate ways, right? So the bottom line here is there's nothing to lose by that. And you're going to learn a lot by being on that call as well and learning a lot about just the business and, and how it works. And more importantly, how we can help you and if it makes sense. So go to createawesomeonlinecourses.com slash accelerator. And I hope to, you know, that we get to do another podcast where we're bragging about you you know, a little bit over 90 days from now. Do you know what I'm saying? That we get to talk about this because I got to tell you, it is fun as heck to brag about accelerator students, not gonna lie. It's like one of my favorite pastimes. You know what I mean? I'm like printing, I'm like, I'm like talking to strangers in the street. I'm like, hey, have you heard about have you heard about Catherine? Have you heard about, you know, <laughs> have you heard about this? Have you heard about that? Have you heard about Tammy? And people are like, who are you and why are you talking to me? And I'm like, dude, you gotta go. You gotta check this out. So Tamiko, I appreciate the time. We gave the link as well to for accelerator, obviously, that people could check that out. And by the way, if people want to find out more about you in the baby world. By the way, listen to the earlier episode with Tamiko Kelly. We'll, we'll link that up in the show notes. We're on episode 64 right now. So go to the risetop.com slash episode 64, and we'll have links to Tamiko's past episode. But what is the best link people could check out for your other world, your baby sleep training world? Yeah, so you can find out about my baby sleep training world. Um, sleepwellwakehappy.com is my work, is my website. I hold monthly workshops where, you know, I share my knowledge with moms and you can go to sleepwellwakehappy.com slash workshop to get more information about that. But David, before we go, I think it's important that we talk to our people who are still on the fence because somebody's listening and they're like, oh, it's not for me. I can't afford it. Oh, la, la, la. Listen. At the end of the day, what is it costing you every single day, emotionally, physically, and mentally, to not have your course out in the world? Just take 10 seconds and sit with that question. Because I feel like if you really were to put pen to the paper and answer that question honestly on what it's costing you emotionally, what it's costing you physically, what it's costing you mentally to not be helping these people that you were created to serve in this world, it would be a complete no-brainer for you to go to that link, click, and book this free call. I love it. So createawesomeonlinecourses.com slash accelerator. Thank you so much, Tamiko, coming here on the Rise to Top podcast. I appreciate you as always. Thank you for having me. And this has been David Sight McGarland here along with Tamiko Kelly on the Rise Top Podcast. And remember, if you want some fluff, you know what to do. Go pet a bunny. There you go. You can take my lines any day, Tamiko. That's why I love you. Bye, everyone. 